Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 7th, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, this reading may not be for you. Let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 7th? Two pentacles reversed. Hmm. Ten of cups reversed. Page of Wands. King of Pentacles reversed. Six of Swords. Chariot reversed. Death reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Temperance. Time for a change. One more card, please. Things are changing. Things are definitely changing. Five of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. So there is an unhealthy situation that somebody needs to break free from. Okay? They need to break free from this. This is some sort of codependency, addiction, lust, greed, obsession, materialism, whatever it is. Somebody needs to break free from these chains. Okay? So we do have a toxic, unhealthy situation here. Um, there's a need to be flexible. I feel like we have somebody here that is probably feeling a little chaotic, uh, unbalanced, uh, uneasy about a change. This is uneasiness. This is a change. It is a change for the better. Okay, so we do have a change for the better that is coming, but holding on to some sort of dead end is getting old. This is, Both of these cards are a dead end. So I think there's moving in a new direction, okay, leaving something behind, something that is very troubling. Um, it's actually going for that ride, you know, taking, taking, the, taking the, the trip, okay, the Six of Swords. So let's take in the trip. Um, but there is some sort of sadness here with the Five of Cups. It could be a breakup. There could be a split. There's definitely grieving over a loss. There's still an opportunity for love, but there's some sort of sadness here. So, uh, we have an individual that has um, probably made a decision. They've made a decision. Now they're feeling, maybe they're feeling a little uneasy about the decision or something like that. Or they need to make a decision, decision with the Two of Pentacles reversed. Um, it's almost like they're fighting, fighting the energy, you know, it's, it's like something is meant to happen. Don't fight it. Just do it. There could be an outburst ahead because of the chariot reverse. That could be scattered emotions, emotions all over the place. There could be an emotional outburst. This is probably the end of a relationship with the 10 of cups reversed. This is, uh, somebody is taking a new path. They've got a new discovery. They're taking a new direction. This is exciting. Somebody may have planted some seeds. Now they've come to fruition. They're get, they've gotten some good news already. Um, because I feel like that page of wands is in the past. Somebody may have received an offer or an invite that is very exciting to them. And now it feels like, you know, the two of pentacles reversed is, uh, you know, Maybe this is a little overwhelming. It's a little, this is a change that is a little overwhelming. But everything happens for a reason. Uh, because a temperance card is a reason. It's a reason. So I think we have emotions that are all over the place because a change is happening. This change is happening. Um, you know, the Ten of Cups reverse is the end of a relationship of some sort. It is. It's either children leaving home or somebody packing up and leaving home. You know, they could be packing up and moving. Um, this is moving. This is moving. Um, so somebody may be, you know, doing that. Um, there is grieving. There's grieving, pain, sadness over a loss. We may have somebody here that needs to let go of that pain. You know, they've been. There's been some sort of delay with the Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, there's been in the Death card next to it reversed. So there's been some sort of delay, but now. We're going. We're going in a new direction. Uh, King of Pentacles reversed is unstable, insecure. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's been some sort of unfaithfulness or very uh, ruthless energy. We may have had somebody here that was very ruthless that made a poor decision. Somebody's made a poor decision. 
by the looks of things. Um, they have. They have made some sort of poor, poor decisions. And now their emotions are all over the place. Um, hmm. But temperance is a card of everything happens for a reason. You need to accept and allow that you have something better. There is definitely something better here. This is the end of something that you've been holding on to. It's a talk. It is. It is. This is this is an ending of some sort with a death card here. That is an ending that has been prolonged. You know, there's been some sort of prolonged grief, but I feel like the grief is is going to come to an end because somebody is leaving it behind. They're leaving it behind. Um, the page of pentacles reverse a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. And next to the death card, I mean, that's a dead end as well. So we do have a dead end here. Um, I feel like we, we have somebody that, um, has become lazy. They've become lazy and complacent and they've lost sight of their goal. You know, they've lost sight of their goal and they've been focusing on some sort of hurt, you know, and the only way to, uh, get over it is to, uh, move away from it, right? The six of swords is about moving away from it. Um, you know, when you get the chariot reverse right now on this day, I feel like there's there's a lack of control, there's a lack of discipline, emotions all over the place. There's 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 uh, things not you know there's a lack of direction, um, chaos, upheaval over the end of a relationship. So somebody is going to be feeling, they're going to be in their feelings. And temperance is about managing feelings. So it's all going to be about the feelings on this day. I think it's going to be about the feelings. We have somebody here that is unstable. I think their feelings are unstable. I feel like they're feeling very insecure. Um, they haven't put in effort, you know, or they're not going to be put, this is not putting in much effort. This is lost focus. So, um, there's a lack of commitment here. This is foolish, um, lacking common sense. We have somebody here that doesn't really want responsibility. They're not really interested in, you know, uh, putting in any effort and perhaps it's really time to go, you know, it's time to go. So, uh, it's hold, holding on is, is getting old and I feel like this, this prolonged grief is, you know, it's time to just wash it away, let it go, let it go, and turn around and go in another direction. Because once you stand up and you turn around and you leave that situation, there is an opportunity for emotional fulfillment right here. All you got to do is focus on it. You got to stop focusing on what hurt you and turn around because you got something else right there. Okay? We have somebody here that's been focusing on something that has hurt them. You know, but that is the two of cups right there. That's an opportunity for a union, but this person hasn't been able to see it or to accept it or to acknowledge it or even look for it because they were so focused on, you know, a third party situation or some sort of hurt or something like that or a breakup. Somebody's been focusing on a breakup and now, and, but you know, it's interesting because of the six of swords that is, that is going someplace and uh you know headed towards towards the two of cups headed towards love or emotional fulfillment so i do feel like we have somebody here that is um going to be going with the flow you know they're they're going because the temperance card comes after the death card typically so there's something that has ended it's a need to accept it accept and allow and make some compromises and blend to create harmony and the only way to create harmony is to accept when something is over and stop holding on to the dead end you know you can't you got to let it go you got to let it go and the only way to let it go is to you know leave it behind and actually take that ride to wherever it is that you're going so i do think it's going to be emotional i feel i feel like it's an emotional uh, decision because a two of pentacles is a decision and this is very emotional it's about feelings um, I feel like it's saying goodbye to a relationship because a ten of cups is a relationship this is a dying dream it's a relationship that didn't work out all right um, yeah so I feel like that's what this day is about and it's feeling very um, 
unbalanced about it. You know, you know, you're feeling unbalanced all over the place. You may have some ups and downs, you know, one minute you're really happy. The next minute you're really down. It's just like, you know, it's like, it's like up and down, up and down. So there's going to be an up and down energy where you're extremely emotional. You can't master your emotions. You may even be angry. And then, you know, you, you're starting to feel the reason, you know, you're, you're starting to see the reason. So it's kind of like a grieving process if you think about it. I mean, because this is grieving, so it's like a grieving process. You, you you start at feeling like, what the hell is going on? This is crazy. This is nuts. To, oh, I'm sad, you know, I can't, this is tearful, sad, whatever. To, okay, I accept it. So it could be that, that kind of sequence, you know, it could be that kind of sequence of the day. Um... Now the death card reversed next to the chair it reversed that could be something coming to a stop you know coming to a dead stop so I'm wondering if something is going to come to a dead stop maybe it's a relationship a relationship that came to a dead stop because of a lack of commitment you know maybe that's what happened you know the relationship just stopped it just stopped you know it's just like what you know so um I do feel like uh, something better is coming because that is that's a temperance card. Okay, that's something better is coming. Everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. This is this is about um, change. Okay, we have a we have a major change here with the temperance card. This is a need to be grounded, but also fluid at the same time. This is learning some sort of lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson from a relationship they have. Now the lesson has been learned. It's, it's, it's time to go. Okay. Six of Swords. It's time to go. It's time to take a new approach. It's time to go to a, a better place. Could be some traveling on this day. I definitely feel like we have somebody here that is lazy as well. They haven't put in effort. They've lost sight of their goals and they need to focus. They really need to focus on a new life. There's an opportunity for a new life here, but their lack of discipline and lack of willpower and inner strength, you know, somebody needs to find their discipline and strength and willpower to control their emotions. You know, and to take the lead and to be the boss and, you know, take charge of their life. Somebody may be in a dead end situation and they have not been able to take charge. Take charge of your life. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry with the chariot reverse. They're angry about something that is ending or has ended, but they haven't been able to find the discipline to, you know, take charge. There's no faith. You gotta have faith. So yeah, I feel like there is definitely, it's time, because this is time to go in a new direction, new direction, new direction. Okay, it is, but you're gonna have to take the steps to do so. So I feel like on this day, it's gonna be an emotional day, okay, of realizing something okay um now somebody has evolved as well this is about evolving becoming a better person learned a lesson somebody has learned a lesson from a relationship that really <sighs> cost them it really cost them it really cost them a lot of uh i don't know it feels like money <laughs> you know money it may have been used somebody may have been used i'm just saying because we have money here somebody has learned a lesson anyhow this is going to a better place 
headed towards an opportunity, headed towards a union, after letting go of something that hurt you. It's like done holding on, not going to put any more effort, not going to put any more effort in. Seriously, not going to, it's, I'm done, done holding on. So I think that we have somebody here that is about ready to go somewhere. They're going somewhere, traveling. Let's get one more card. Breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that has been a disaster. And there's anger here as well. We also may have somebody in this reading that makes a poor decision. And, you know, they make a very poor decision and it doesn't end well. They could, you know, I don't know if they get, if they're in a vehicle, they could get pulled over, you know, um, get stopped. Um, may have something to do with drugs with or addictions with the uh, devil card. Eight of Pentacles. Now that is putting in effort. Everything working out. So somebody is very, very skilled. They have the skills that they need. All they have to do is put in some effort and try a little harder. Something to do with money as well. Making money. Somebody may have been very focused on money. Very, very, very focused on money so much that they didn't see an opportunity for a relationship. And this is no balance. So somebody may have lost a relationship because all they could see was uh, dollar signs. But this is a card of evolution. It's a card of changing. Somebody may have changed. They may have evolved. They may have learned a lesson because they lost a relationship because all they saw was dollar signs, you know? Now, the death card can be a near-death experience. You know, it may not be over yet. Somebody may have another chance. This could be an opportunity for a reunion. No, I'm not, it's not going to be for everybody. But this is a card of change. It's a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. People need to le learn their lessons. And people don't learn their lessons the easy way. Okay? You don't learn a lesson the easy way. Lessons only get learned the hard way. So, this is a lesson learned after an angry. So I do feel like we have somebody here that's probably angry over a lost relationship. Or they're in their emotions. If they're not angry, if they're not angry, they, they could just be in their emotions over a lost relationship. Um, they, didn't, they weren't able to balance the relationship with their money, you know, or they were really bad with money or something like that. Um, but, and now somebody's moving away. Six of Swords, taking a new approach, leaving the trouble behind, going to a better place. Ah, yes, building a new foundation. Somebody's going to be building a new foundation. It's a permanent loss. It's time to start over. It's a painful change. This is moving. There could be a fight. There could. This is extremes. Okay, extremely a shocking, perhaps. This is disruption. Feeling feeling uneasy again. Feeling upheaval. Somebody has been avoiding challenge, but now they're taking a new approach and they're going to build a new foundation. We could also have somebody here that is deciding not to put in any more effort into a false sense of security. You know, 
That's what it is. They're deciding not to put any more effort or commit to this false sense of security. They want something more easy. They want something more easy going. They want something more uh, aligned with them. So... I think there's been some indecision, but I feel like I feel like there's gonna be it's gonna be very emotional. I think that there's been uh, some sort of major chaos or disruption that has has really uh, shaken somebody up, and I feel like uh, there's about to be a major change. A new foundation is about to be built. And look at that. Now the Three of Cups is closed and we have the Two of Cups only showing. So there's an opportunity for love, for a union here. As soon as you make that move. Good luck.